After module startup, both CV channels will be on their page 0, which is slightly different between channel A and B. Page 0 of channel A has a constant voltage on the middle position of the morph knob, and random values if you turn the morph knob clockwise. If you turn it counterclockwise, you will get a sample and glide output with a smooth transition between random values. On channel B, you have a constant voltage in the counterclockwise knob position, and a sample and hold output as you turn the knob further clockwise. The maximum amplitude will increase as you turn the knob further. Pressing the page buttons advances the program to the next page. Pages 1 to 16 contain predefined wavetables with three waves per page. One in the counterclockwise knob position, one in the middle position, and one in the clockwise position. The knobs morph the output seamlessly between the three waves of the current page. Tapping the sync button will adjust the internal clock. You can also provide an external sync signal to the sync input. Channel B is the master channel and it is always synchronized to the clock. Channel A depends on channel B in a way that is set by the div knob. In normal mode, this means there is a predefined ratio between the channels. Press the left page button for more than a second in order to switch to free mode. Now you can adjust the time division between A and B independently of the predefined ratios. Press the button for more than a second again in order to return to normal mode. Press the page B button for more than a second in order to switch to phase adjustment mode. Now the div knob will shift channel A's phase against that of channel B. Both channels will be in phase with each other at the counterclockwise and clockwise knob positions, and phase shifted in between. A long press on the page B button will return to normal mode. Let's now have a look at some of the other wavetable pages. It is possible to modulate the morphing of either of the two waves via incoming CV. Let's modulate channel A's waveform from channel B. In order to identify page 0 for channel A, 
turn the morph knob to the middle position and press the page button repeatedly until you see a constant voltage. This can be done without an oscilloscope, simply by looking at the LED. If you want to identify page 0 for channel B, turn the morph knob fully counterclockwise and press the page button repeatedly until you see a constant voltage. Press and hold the recording button in order to record knob movement or incoming CV. Instead of pressing the button, you can also send a gate signal into the recording gate input. The recording channel is always the one that had its page changed last. The knob movement will be played back during recording and looped after you release the button, if the knob returns to the middle position. You can then morph your recorded wave into the other two waveforms of the current page, by turning the button clockwise and counterclockwise. And lastly, recordings are synchronized to the clock, and they can be time-stretched in either direction using the sync button or div knob.